Hey friends, this is Davrel from techydav.com, an online virtual assistant business that helps female entrepreneurs turn their never-ending tech tasks into automated money-making systems. In this video, I'll show you how you can share your passwords safely on the internet. This video is for you whether you're a virtual assistant or an entrepreneur looking to hire a virtual assistant. We'll speak about the most popular password management software out there, which is LastPass. I'll show you how to create an account and we'll speak about why you should use it as a virtual assistant or an online business owner and how you can utilize it to streamline your business in 2023. LastPass is an invaluable resource for both virtual assistants and other online business owners. It is a robust password manager that allows you to store, manage and secure passwords for all of your accounts. This guy will walk you through the process of of setting up an account and the benefits of using LastPass, which include increased productivity, enhanced security, and improved organization. As a virtual assistant, you should be using a password management software like this in your business, as this allows you to quickly and easily access the accounts you need to conduct business with, giving you more time to focus on the task at hand. It also makes it easier for clients to share their passwords safely with you, as it gives them peace of mind and also helps you to garner trust with your clients. Let's jump on over to my screen and I'll show you how you can create your LastPass account step by step. So LastPass is a quite popular password management software as over 33 plus million people use LastPass. So I normally choose the free plan which is $0 monthly and I've been using that with no problems for a couple of years now. Now the premium account is $3 monthly and the family account is $4 monthly. Now, I use the personal account. You can use the business which is $6 monthly and the business is paid. But I recommend using the free account which works great. So let's get into this. So you'll click on personal and you'll sign up an account. So here's my password. Here's my email address. Here's my password. I'll click on start 30 day free trial and this is included 30 days of the premium is included so once you create an account you have to install the LastPass Chrome browser which is quite important because with this extension it allows you to generate passwords and it allows you to save all your passwords easily and effortlessly so what you do is i already have this saved, so it shows up like this this is what you'll see when you sign into your account once you've installed the chrome extension now you can import as many passwords at, at all at once to your last pass account or you can add them one by one and you have a lot of options here. You can add your password, a secure note, an address, a credit card or debit card, your bank account details. You can also add driver's license, passport and a whole list of other things. This is where if you have family access, this can be important because your family members can view these vital information. You can import your passwords from maybe your Chrome if they're saved there, Edge, Firefox. You can also import your password from any one of these password managers or from a CSV file. The all items, this is where you'll see all of your passwords. The sharing center is where you'll see where you'll, you can manage your shared folder. You can see what's shared with you and you can see what you've shared with others as well. And you can also share an item here. 
I don't have anything this is a brand new account but I'll show you in my personal account how this would do so you'll type the email address of the person that you would like to share the password with here and you'll choose what you like to share so you'll see your passwords here you'll see notes addresses credit cards debit cards bank account information on your security dashboard and your emergency access this is a premium feature you now have a 30 day free trial on this once you sign up and with your emergency access you can give access to any contact that you trust or you can see who has given you access to their account Here you can access your account settings your login credentials your passwordless options, your multi-factor options here as well, any trusted devices, your mobile devices, and you can add LastPass to both your mobile devices and your tablets as well. And your URL rules. And your advanced options here is where you can upgrade to LastPass Premium, Families or Business. You can import your vault or export it as well. So if you'd like to transfer all your passwords to your new LastPass account, what you can do is you can export it. And there's a helpful guide right here so you can watch, you can contact support, you can attend a training. You can get a virtual a vault tool and you can get the video tutorials. Let's click on vault tool. Do this to make sure that you understand this thoroughly. So let's jump into my LastPass account. This is in my personal LastPass account that I use. So here you'll see that I already have passwords saved. And I have certain folders, so I have a social folder, a business folder. So this is how you can create a folder so you can organize your stuff properly here. So you can click to this red button which says add item or you can add new folder and I can name this folder business for instance and I'll save all my business items in here. My social account I'll save in here if I create a folder for that I can add any random information that I may need my driver's license for instance on my passport I'll secure them here my insurance policy I'll, ins I'll place this here here's where you can share your password so the password that I'd like to share to someone maybe my VA I'd like to share a password with her what I'll do is I'll click here to share and I'll type my password, I'll type my email address here and I will be sure to not check this box because I won't want her to see my password for security reasons and I'll share it here. Now this is the Chrome extension and with this you can generate your passwords and if I for instance with the Chrome extension my passwords are autofilled as you'll see here it's autofilled and I'm signed in simple like that and this goes for if I'm signing up with a new if I'm signing up I will automatically be asked to store that password and this is how LastPass is effective and simple and it's amazing so I can also generate passwords here as well with the Chrome extension. I don't like this one. I can refresh, then copy and I can fill this. Then I can do a password length up to, I think it goes up to 99 characters for maximum security. I'll get alerts here. My account here.
and I can visit my vault here. So once I click on visit my vault, I'll go back into my last pass account. These are all my folders, business and social. Don't have any notes there, but this is what it looks like, especially with your folders. So it's quite easy to go through. So this is what you'll see in your last pass account. And one thing that you can do if you, you could quick launch here. You just click on launch and this will take you to your app of choice this is a demonstration of what you will see once you sign up for something so if I sign up for something and I click sign up with email I get the option so this is automatically that I get the option of a password suggestion and if I don't like that password that was suggested to me I can just refresh that and I can add that can refresh that and I can just fill with that and I can sign up so once I sign up there I'll get a pop-up that asks me if I'd like to say so if I can and I can choose which folder I like to put this in on the business and for the options I'll enable auto fill and I can also log in automatically once I go there and I'll add password. So this is how you'll add your password to your last pass account. So once you sign up for something, you'll get this pop up and you can have these options. If you like it to autofill, if you like it to log in automatically, I think you'll see that demonstrated on some of my on some of my passwords that I have saved. And once I add passwords, this password will be automatically added to my vault. Now I have access to that. So once I click on launch, you'll see that it's automatically filled and signed in. So now you'll see what LastPass can do, what inside your LastPass accounts can look like, how to organize your folders and how to utilize LastPass for your business. What I normally use LastPass for is my is just my passwords, but you can use it for any number of ways. I use it for my passwords to share it to my virtual assistants and also to receive passwords from clients that I'm working with. So if they would like to share gives me access to certain accounts maybe their Katra account maybe their Kajabi account what they'll do is they'll share passwords with me and where I get that password is the sharing center so I won't click here because I have a lot of passwords here that were shared with me but I'll look here and these are the passwords that were shared with me and I'll get access to it right there so I've shown you how to create your last pass account I've shown you a tutorial and what you can do with LastPass both as a virtual assistant and as an online business owner. One thing that is quite overlooked is a lot of persons don't show you how to delete your account. This is quite important as learning how to set up that account. If LastPass is not for you, you can delete your account and you go to you'll go to this you'll go to this URL and I'll leave the, this link down below and you'll click on delete your account. So I yes, I do remember my password and I'll enter my master password here and you'll click on whatever reasons. I'll just click, I'll just put this one. Just account. I'll enter my password. Then I'll click delete. Yes. And my account is deleted. Thank you for jumping in here with me and let's head right back up. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, leave a like, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button and comment below. And if you've made it this far in the video, why not follow me on Instagram for more up-to-date content. See ya!